Hey guys, wheel of many colors. Why? <laughs> hey everyone. Okay, it's finally time for July favorites. I'm so sad. It feels like summer's over, even though I'm not in school anymore. So it's not like I have to worry about going back to school. It's, I'm gonna still be doing the same thing, going to work all the time, and it's still gonna be hot because it's Houston, Texas, and it's gonna be hot until like December. I don't know why. I just mourn the loss of July. Favorites, one unfavorite, let's do it. First off, I would not normally put this first favorite in the first position because because I just wouldn't, but I feel like it's pretty in your face. By it, I mean my ears. Um, I've never been like insecure about my ears or something, but the way that I did my hair, my ears are very front and center in your face right now and they are that way because I want to show you my earrings and I like my hair like this it's pretty cute kind of doing like a little retro bump half up thing I'm a fan they are the little Heisenberg drawing from Breaking Bad if you don't know I love Breaking Bad it's a show on AMC and it's coming back this month in August so technically this is not about July I did get these earrings in July I got them from Etsy from a store called Sleepy Mountain and I got a whole bunch of stuff and I posted an Instagram because I was just pouring love because I don't know this girl who makes these things she just has pretty much the same taste as me in TV and movies and just cute things in general. I don't know, I'm a big fan. I'm so excited for Breaking Bad to come back. It's coming back in a matter of days and I can feel the excited feelings. I know it's gonna be epic, I just know it. So yeah, just to get the ears out of the way, but they're still gonna be here for the rest of the video. Hey guys, have a strange men on your ears. These are very sexy. Ooh la la. Extreme side note, did you know I could wiggle my ears? like without touching them. I don't know how many people can do this in this world. Can you see it? <laughs> you can definitely see it if I'm like wearing glasses and I do it because they're like eh, 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 eh. Okay, now moving on to the more makeup-y kind of stuff, the stuff that most of you are here for. First off, something I've been doing differently with my eye makeup. I showed you in my last Get Ready With Me video, I didn't use my normal everyday slash lifelong black liquid liner. I know, so crazy, and I'm completely having an identity crisis over it because I've been doing it a lot. Today I do have like one thin line of liquid eyeliner across my lash line, but then I went over it with a dark eyeshadow and like kind of did a wing with the eyeshadow. So it's a much softer look. And a lot of you guys were complimenting me on it and saying it was a really good thing and I've been feeling like it's a really good thing and it's just it's just a little bit less work. Usually my motto is just more is more is more is more and that's a good thing, but I don't know. I can't explain it. It's my thing right now. And I usually use this brush. It's by Sedona Lace and it's the EB21 and it's just really small, kind of rounded at the top and very thin. This works really well for me better than any other brushes that I have. And I also wanted to show you two shadows that I've been using a lot for this look. This is the Maybelline Quad in Stylish Smokes Natural Smoke, I believe. I don't know, I have had this quad forever and ever and ever and I've loved it for a really long time. Obviously, I love this one to death. Um, but this really dark color, it's kind of like a cool brown black and I don't know, it's just, it's really great for doing this, especially when you don't wanna use like a, a purpley brown or something. If you want like a cooler, not black, but almost black color, this one's good. The other one I've been going for a lot is this little tiny baby sample of Make eyeshadow that I got in one of my birch boxes months and months ago. I'm not getting birch box anymore because, well that's a different story. Basically, when my wallet got stolen, remember that video I told you all about it, I never updated my credit card information on Birchbox and so they just stopped sending them to me. Whatever. Still using the samples because I have a bajillion. This is the Make Eyeshadow in Burnt Umber and it's just a really, really dark brown. And I don't know, I just, I love their packaging and everything. I talked about it in that video, but yeah, this one works really well, that one works really well, and in my Get Ready With Me video, I used the darkest color in the Meat Matte Nude palette 
also works really well. Obviously, I'm gonna go for more like matte colors, but you could really do anything you want. I wouldn't do like lime green or pastel blue, but you could. I'm not saying you can't. I will never do that. Next favorite are these lip liners. I kind of moved away from lip liners for a really long time and for whatever reason I was in Walgreens a couple weeks ago and I picked up three of the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips retractable lip pencils. I got it in three colors. I swear to you I have owned two of these, the Tawny and the Rock and Rose. I've owned both of those but I have no clue where they are and I don't throw away makeup that much especially when it's still good. I don't know anyway but I got those two colors and I also got baby berry and baby berry is what I have on my lips right now and I just like lined my lips and then filled it in and then I added a gloss and this is hourglass extreme sheen in reflect I've talked about this gloss a billion times I've had it forever I still love it it's still amazing so it's basically just lip liner all over my lips and gloss and I really like it and for some reason I'm getting back into lining my lips I know it's like an extra step and usually I'm really low maintenance on the lips but I really like these they're really affordable they're like $1.99 $2.99 something like that I always get them at Walgreens I've never seen Jordana at any other drugstore but I think you can get it at Cherry Culture online these are great if you just want some affordable new lip liners I've talked about them before like years and years ago I'm still wondering where the old ones were I'll find them one day my next favorite are the wet n wild mega last nail polishes I know what you're thinking we know you love them stop but in case you didn't see the video I did a swatch fest because I went to Dollar General and went crazy on the Dollar General exclusive colors I got like 20 colors a couple of them were regular collection but most of them were the exclusives and people asked me to tell you which ones were my favorite and I didn't do that in that video so I'd like to do it now first is sea change and I love this color it almost shows up black but that's what I like for my toes I always do like an almost black color but usually it's like an almost black red or purple and this one is like a blue green I'm really loving it it's on my toes right now I just chipped it I'm gonna fix it later but I'm not gonna show you the next two are what I have on my fingernails right now they're both neon colors and it's a pink bubblegum pop and an orange traffic cone orange called sunspot I just did my nails with these colors so I haven't added any like artful color blocks or try accent and I really want to try out my new nail stamp so maybe I'll do that but I don't know they're just boring right now two-tone neon not really boring if you want to see all the polishes that I got which I got a lot of them I swatched them all and I will put the video link down below the wheel of many colors next favorite is again something I'm revisiting oh well they are the instant age rewind eraser dark circle treatment concealer by Maybelline these are kind of old news but people are still loving them I have the brightener and I have the neutralizer and for whatever reason I pulled these out and I hadn't used them in a really long time and I used to love them but one of the main reasons why I turned against them is because of the packaging the packaging sucks I think it wastes the product and I also think it's like it's prone to breaking like I suggested these to my mom and they kept breaking on her and she I don't know why I'm talking so much crap about these because these are definitely in the favorite section but I don't know I'm compelled to show you both sides of the coin there are definitely cons when it comes to this product but I revisited them because you know me I'm on the eternal quest to find the ultimate under eye concealer brightener whatever and I've kind of been mixing these two a little bit like not heavily not like a full application of both but kind of strategically mixing them to do my eyes and I'm really liking it lately a lot despite the packaging flaws last favorite of the month is a weird one these are pop tarts in a new flavor and it's frosted chocolate peanut butter <sighs> I love pop tarts I've always loved pop tarts these are a new flavor and they are intense like the serving size I think has always been just one even though they put two in a package which is crazy because who wants to save one in the little open foil package I always eat two because I'm a little picky. However, when it comes to these things, they are intense and so peanut buttery. And it's not like it's peanut butter, but it's very peanut butter flavor. I don't know. 
I love peanut butter things, but this is another level of very intense. I always put my Pop-Tarts in the microwave. I don't know if anybody else does that. I usually do like 12 seconds. These, you don't have to do them that long. I don't know if anybody else does that. But they are also very intense. Proceed with caution if you're like, oh, this is too rich for me. You're not gonna like it, but I'm all about it. I just love junk food, and I'm never gonna say I don't, ever. All right, so that's it for my favorites, and now on to my one and only lonely unfavorite for the month. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Eye Rehab 2-in-1 Brightening Concealer. I feel like maybe I've mentioned that I didn't really like this before, but I can't remember right now. I don't like it. It's like one of those mixed ones that makes you think it's like skincare and like it's really cute because it's Ellen DeGeneres with a raccoon. I love that campaign. Totally sucking me in, but it doesn't set well under my eyes and it seems like there's like a strong fragrance, which I never like in my face products let alone in my eye products because the eye area is more sensitive so i don't know i just not a fan i don't really like the coverage i don't really like anything about it so yeah that was a lie i do like something about it i really like the packaging you're efficiently using the product because it pushes it up and it has a pump and it has a good sturdy cap like i just really like this packaging so somehow could we get the CoverGirl and Olay and the Maybelline? I know, that's never gonna happen. In my dream world, this packaging would contain the other under eye concealer by Maybelline. Why can't that be a thing, huh? Why, why, why? Anyway, I used this in one of my foundation routines I did recently, so I don't want you to like see that I used it and then think like I loved it because it was like my second time using it and I don't even know why I included it in that video. I'm sorry if I made you confused. I never try to do that on purpose. All right, so those were all my favorites and my one unfavorite for the month. And I hope you guys enjoyed the reviews. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions or whatever, I'm always happy to hear them. You can comment down below. You can also hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or Tumblr or Facebook or wherever you are that I am also. I'm uh, everywhere and it's Leanne Says really easy to get in touch with. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much if you've already subscribed. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. That was weird. I don't know why I'm complaining exactly. It's many, many colors. I like decorate a wall with these things or something. I have a lot. Oh no, I messed up my nail. Why? Just wanted to show you like the whole look together with like bronzer and everything. Bronzer is very important to me. I did add the little like uh, powder concealer kind of thing to brighten up my under eye, which made me feel a lot better. I did go over the bridge of my nose where there was some remaining redness. I did go a little bit over my little spot that was showing through. Um, I feel like it looks really good. There are things showing through. This is not a full coverage thing, um, but I kind of think that's a really good thing.